الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم وبارك على نبينا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه اجمعين Good evening brothers and sisters thank you for joining me uh tonight in tonight or I'm sorry in tonight's installment of spiritual care for the quarantined I would like to share two final spiritual immunizations capable with Allah's permission of warding off diseases and other afflictions. The first is al-istighfar, seeking Allah's forgiveness. Allah says, وَمَا كَانَ اللَّهُ مُعَذِّبَهُمْ وَهُمْ يَسْتَغْفِرُونَ Allah was not going to punish them while they actively seek forgiveness. Surah Al-Anfal, the 8th surah, verse number 33. Brothers and sisters, oftentimes when trials like the trial of COVID-19 befall, oftentimes when trials like the trial of COVID-19 befall human beings, it is due to a sin or sins that mankind has committed with impunity. And the trial is not lifted until man pents and seeks Allah's forgiveness for the wrong he has done. As Ali رضي الله عنه, he said, ما نزل بلاء إلا بذنب وما رفع إلا بتوبة. An affliction does not befall a person except due to a sin and is not lifted except due to repentance. So according to the verse cited above, one of the best ways to ward off punishment in the form of a contagion or otherwise. And according to the statement of Ali رضي الله عنه, the best way to rid ourselves of the trial once it has descended is to repent to Allah and seek His forgiveness. There are a number of formulas that we can employ to seek forgiveness. Astaghfirullah, Astaghfirullah wa atubu ilayh, Rabbi ghfirli, Allahumma inni zalamtu nafsi dhulman kithira, wa la yaghfiru dhunuba illa ant, faghfirli maghfiratan min indik warhamni, faghfirli maghfiratan min indik warhamni, innaka anta al-ghafur rahim, and so on. And all of these formulas are beneficial. All of them um, fit the description of istighfar. And we should learn all of them and try to employ them throughout our day and night to protect ourselves and ward off contagions before they occur and to heal ourselves once they occur. But the best formula is the one that the Prophet referred to as Sayyid al-Istighfar. The best way to seek protection from Allah through al-istighfar is by using the formula which Allah, des- I'm sorry, which the Prophet described as Sayyid al-istighfar, the grandfather or the chief of forgiveness-seeking formulas. In the hadith collected by Bukhari, on the authority of Shaddad ibn Aus, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam, he said, Sayyid al-istighfar, an taqool, Allahumma anta rabbi. لا إله إلا أنت أنت خلقتني وأنا عبدك وأنا على أهدك ووعدك ما استطعت أعوذ بك من شر ما صنعت أبوء لك بنعمتك علي وأبوء لك بذنبي فاغفر لي فإنه لا يغفر الذنوب إلا أنت The Prophet said in this hadith The best formula for seeking forgiveness is to say O oh Allah, you are my Lord. There is no deity worthy of worship except you. You created me. I am your humble servant, and I am observant of your covenant and commitment as much as I am able. I seek refuge in you from the evil deeds I have committed. I return to you with the bounties with which you have favored me, and I also return with my transgressions. So grant me forgiveness and pardon me, for no one forgives sins except you. This particular supplication, Sayyid al-Istighfar, for those who have not already memorized it, can be found or referenced in the famous book, and it's also, it's a booklet, and it's also an app. Many of you may even have the app on your phone. The app or the booklet which is entitled Hisnul Muslim, the fortification of a Muslim, and you'll find it in that booklet or on that app under the section entitled Remembrance said in the morning and evening. So if you don't already learn, don't already know it, please reference it in that booklet or in that, on that app and learn this supplication and use it frequently. The Prophet called it Sayyid al-Istighfar. And he said it's something we should say in the morning 
and something we should say in the evening as well. The final spiritual immunization that I would like to share is a tasbih, glorifying Allah and declaring Him free and far removed of all defects. Allah says, highlighting the preventive power of a tasbih. And had he not been from those who exalt Allah with a tasbih, he would have said they are resurrected. Surah Al Safat, the 37th Surah, verses 143 and 144. Al Imam Al Tabariyu, he explains the meaning of the verse and how it applies to our discussion. He says, كَانَ مِنَ الذَّكِرِينَ اللَّهَ قَبْلَ الْبَلَاءِ فَذَكَرَهُ اللَّهُ فِي حَالِ الْبَلَاءِ فَأَنْقَذَهُ وَنَجَّاهُ He says Yunus would have remained in the belly of the whale if not for the fact that he was from those who remembered Allah and exalted him with a tasbih regularly before the trial. So Allah remembered him when the trial occurred, rescued him, and gave him salvation. And Imam al-Shafi'i, rahimahullah ta'ala, he used to say, لم أرى أنفع للوباء من التسبيح. I have not seen anything more beneficial in warding off an infectious disease than a tasbih. And just as we said with the istighfar, the same is true for a tasbih. There are many formulas, many ways to make a tasbih. But perhaps one of the best is to say سبحانك اللهم ربنا وبحمدك اللهم اغفر لي. سبحانك اللهم ربنا وبحمدك اللهم اغفر لي. And this one is, is one of the best, if not the best, is because it combines a tasbih, exalting Allah, alhamd, praising Allah, and al-istighfar, seeking Allah's forgiveness, all in one formula. That formula again, subhanaka Allahumma, rabbana wa bihamdik, Allahumma ghfir li. Subhanaka Allahumma, rabbana wa bihamdik, Allahumma ghfir li. Subhanaka Allahumma, rabbana wa bihamdik, Allahumma ghfir li. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala al-wahid al-ahad, Rabbu samad We ask him to make us from those who regularly and constantly seek his forgiveness and from those who regularly and constantly exalt him. And because of their regular seeking of forgiveness and their regular, ex- the re- the, and their regular practice of exalting Allah through a tasbih, that he makes us from those who receive his protection from contagions and from every other harm and injury. Also, because we're living in a time because of the pandemic and because of all the restrictions that have come to protect us from being infected, there are many people, some of our own brothers and sisters who are out of work. And we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to provide for them. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because he is al-razaq, the provider, to provide for those people and to cover their expenses, and to provide for them, as he says, in ways they could never expect, that he makes sure that they are not experiencing additional anxiety, not just the anxiety of the fear of the contagion, but the anxiety of the fear of eviction, the fear of having the utilities cut off, not being able to feed themselves or their families. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to protect those people, to ease their anxiety and their concerns, to provide for them in this time. إِنَّهُ وَلِيُّ ذَلِكْ وَالْقَادِرُ عَلَيْهِ هذا وصلى الله وسلم وبارك على نبينا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه اجمعين السلام عليكم ورحمه الله وبركاته